And people across the world finding creative ways to help the people of Ukraine, booking Airbnbs in the country with, of course, no intention of actually staying. ABC 4's Lena Takata has this story. I really got responses for both of them. Uh, being super, super thankful for the help. Isabel Lopez got the idea to book Airbnbs in Ukraine on social media and booked one night at two different Airbnbs in Kiev. She replied, thank you for not forgetting us. And, and that was just like very like moving for me. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And um, I'm glad I could get her some, some, some quick assistance. There were over 61,000 nights booked in Ukraine from around the world in just two days, according to Airbnb. Of these, more than half were booked by people in the United States, like Lopez and another Utah, Garrett Martin. I was looking for kind of individuals that needed help. So I did. I found a, a place in Kiev with... Uh, uh, Ina and Vladimir. Martin says he chose to book three nights in Kiev as a way to help get money directly in the hands of the locals who own the Airbnb. Upon booking, he was able to have a conversation with Vladimir and Ina using Google Translate. They said, uh, thank you very much. I'm very grateful to you. Even tears are flowing from my eyes right now. You live very far away, and yet you still feel our pain. The host telling Martin about their situation in Ukraine. Now it's all tanks, block of posts, security bearers, counter tanks. Again, I sincerely appreciate your support, understanding, and sincere desire to help. God bless you. Lopez and Martin both hope to be able to visit Ukraine and possibly meet their Airbnb hosts once the conflict in Europe ends. People will forget what you say and what you do, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And I think this is just such a small, incredible way to make them feel appreciated and, and they're thought of. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Lena Takata, ABC4 News.